if you have an interesting set, if you don't, but if you do, uh -huh. then you do not have her? Who was it that put it in the back of the truck, Matt Lawson? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Basically, the, the, the reason for building the model and uh, presenting it, uh, putting it on display last night was we realized that after uh, many hours of workshops and presentations and and such that uh, the concept still was not getting across to too many people which is which is common so we felt that a model was the right way to uh, get the correct picture across show everybody's what, what we're doing how we're doing it and that will be a useful tool when we do go to talk to uh, our partners if you will about uh, raising funds for the for the project itself the model itself is, 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 is basically the immediate area of the, around the existing spillway and dam uh, and, uh, uh, and the downstream area showing the, uh, the DOD overpass and railway as well as the existing spillway. And this shows you the, the, the relative positions and locations and, and construction of the new spillway relative to those, those other features. Um, Right now, it's, it's an anticipated that it'll be a four pipe, uh, four 60 inch pipe design. Uh, and the top of the spillway is set approximately two and a half to three or four inches above the existing. And it's, therefore, it gets its name emergency spillway. When the existing one is over capacity, then this one will kick in automatically at, at, the, at that level. The function of it is an emergency spillway, which, which will, will uh, complement or, or supplement the, 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 the uh, action of the existing spillway on major storm events. Okay. There's basically four goals that we want to accomplish uh, with, the, with the, the new spillway. One is protecting the dam itself uh, from failure, which would be caused by an overtopping uh, during your major storm events. Uh, two would be keeping uh, NC87 open longer with our last storm with Tammy uh, that road was closed for approximately 30 to 36 hours um, because of storm waters and that's a that's a, uh, a major um, transportation route access route for people living in Bald, uh, Baldhead, Southport, St. James, Oak Island uh, and ourselves uh, uh, to get to get out of the city um, so it's important to keep that that air that road open. This will provide that uh, uh, additional time of opening. Um, the other uh, the other there's two other aspects, and that's to help uh, prevent the propagation of, of or development of sinkholes by maintaining a water level or at least reducing the amount of fl rapid fluctuation in, la in lake level during storms. And then thirdly, the areas is plagued with many areas of poor drainage and those areas of poor drainage are we're gonna have a hard time remedying those areas if we don't provide capacity in the lake to drain the water to and the drainage problem is is really what started this whole project going many years ago um, although it has been recognized for several years uh, 20 to 30 years that the, the spillway was not large enough the next steps in with the model is basically it's on display in City Hall for right now, and the next step will be going into the the, uh, the financing phase, and that will be where we have to plead our case with uh, federal agencies, state agencies, private companies to build partnerships, apply for grants, and the model will be used as a demonstration of the city's commitment um, to the project and show the physical. Uh, parameters of the of the project itself. We did some pricing on getting the model built uh, primarily with some uh, some outfits that cut the topography out of a solid piece of urethane and that process alone was about three thousand dollars and then you had to build the structures and, and such with it so we did some shopping around and we basically purchased just a bunch of four inch wide 316 thick uh, 
balsa wood planks and we basically cut out the planks for each elevation of, uh, of topography and, and glued them all together and painted them up and it just came out fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> the bulk of the work was done by uh, uh, the, the Lakes Committee, um, uh, I'll, I'll say under my direction, but the, a lot of the work itself was done by George Debener and Herb Glidden and we had some professional help from Millennium Construction and Brunswick Glass who provided the top and, and Millennium Construction who provided some exciting moments when we passed the model through his saws and, and only envisioned what could have happened um, if, if things didn't go right. And the whole model, uh, we got estimates from, from uh, ECS, our engineers, for the Florida Spillway, and they estimated that to be an eight to $10,000 model. I used uh, an estimate in number of 7,000 to 10,000, and we built the model for $425. So, and uh, obviously that doesn't include labor, which was, which was all donated. So all in all, it came out very well, and uh, the, the city got an excellent bargain on it.